all need room to breathe because it's human nature. It's who we are. When man was first created out of the dust of the earth, God gave him the breath of life. When I think of everyone having room to breathe, I think of land. Clean water, fresh air, quality food, places to enjoy, places to rebel. I am descended of enslaved people in this country. Um, prior to that, we, a big portion of my family came from Africa and West Africa and were farmers based on the histor historical record that I've been able to uncover. They were, they were farmers. I have fought racism my entire life. So I've been in, it's from people trying to burn down my house mm. since I, when we were four, when I was four to going to school and being the only black student at the local elementary school. The same people that were doing the, the things to us are the same people that you're thinking are going to look at these cameras and are going to change things for us. It's foolish. Mm -hmm. It's foolish. It's not for us. Mm -hmm. It's for them. They get to see the body camera. They get to see what's going on. They get to really understand what's happening. They get to know the past and the present. They get to change the future. Mm -hmm. All we can do is work with in the parameters that we're allowed to work within right now to set it up for them to be able to utilize it and make the change. Mm -hmm. I'll probably never see it. Mm -hmm. As a college student, I talked about um, African-American males because I had noticed that my classmates had disappeared. serious privilege that comes into the the current uh, back to the land movement um, and young farming generation is often just white uh, privileged folks that are able to succeed and so I can't truly speak to the deep deep barriers that individuals can face um, when coming from a different uh, economic place or, or class or uh, or also the racial barriers are just so deep thankfully I mean in one way, thankfully, I mean, I am um, don't experience those things on a daily basis because my I pass as white. Uh, but if you didn't, it would be a much different uh, experience out here to start farming. And there are certainly lots of farmers that would treat you equally and, and give you a chance in the world. But there's also lots of farmers and people in this community that would write you off and not give you a chance. What the farm means to me is that it's a place that reminds me of who I am, reminds me of who we are as people. We are part of nature, nature is part of us. So when I'm in the farm, I am reminded of the creation. I'm reminded of nature. I'm reminded of who I am and what my purpose in life is, which is to take care of the land like it takes care of me. They were teaching kids to dismantle oppression through the food system. At the Youth Farm Project, we are revisiting with staff and the board what it means to be actively anti-racist. And at Cornell, we're just beginning to be able to say the words anti-racist. As society's inequities become louder in my mind, including who has land and who doesn't. you have privilege, and all of us do in some way, use it to give people room to breathe.